down this straight but a bit too late on the brakes and he dropped some time with this missed turn <laughs> on the second day and this mistake wouldn't have helped in his fight Ireland's Martin Taylor seemed to be taking the cautious approach, but he may have heard the wrong pace note on this occasion. in the mouth of air. Please, all of you, stay well back from the Master 3 of Nick Gill. Here. but maybe a bit too long and the brakes. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, he was able to continue. Turks and Caicos Stan Hartling totally missed his breaking point and flew across the road instead of turning left. This is touching down on this wall. Now folks, that is some awesome braking power. This turn to enter Vault Blues was giving most of the competitors trouble, and even Group A class leader Avinash Shatrani got caught out. And he was also moved into this ditch. WRC replica was moved from WRC 1 to WRC 2, and he missed his breaking point and the turn. He was in the top A. He was fourth in Super Modified 3. <laughs> Scotland's James Thompson might have been enjoying the speed of the Vauxhall Nova. This beast gets away from Andrew Costin Hurley on the Springvale stage. This wall seemed to have a magnet attached to it, as Derek Edwards soon finds out. Sean the Flickster Cummings knows how to find his reverse in time. Though he continued, he missed the last four stages of the day. Jonathan still was enjoying himself after missing three stages, and here he is being caught by Scotland's Alan McKay. <laughs> leader by almost two minutes was Greg Cozier.
There must be something wrong with this corner, as England's Anthony Pownall also gets it wrong. Talk about plowing your way through. Here, England's Joe Trollin keeps his foot on the gas and makes it back out.